Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. We're the Hatch Homes Group and it's our Monday market update. Before we get into our headline uh, topic about Zillow, uh, we are gonna start with some weekly market stats and our newest member, Johnny Allen, is gonna do us the honor of telling us the stats. Welcome. Hi, thanks guys, appreciate it. Your weekly market stats for this week, the average home price is $575,200. And inventory is actually down from 1.1 to 0.9 months worth. Man. And the most active price point is going to be the five hundred dollars to six hundred thousand dollars range with roughly three thousand one hundred and eighty-seven transactions pending. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, inter that. it's interesting that that price range and the next price range, six to seven hundred. Uh, re represents about a third of all of the transaction activity in the past month. So yeah. that's makes sense average. with that average home price being right around there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The average price range price uh, nationally is 385,000, by the way. Mm. But we're probably the cheapest city on the West Coast. Mm. Yeah, we are still. Mm. That's a very active price point for sure here. Okay, so let's get into our main topic of the day, Zillow, oh. right? We've all seen the headlines. Well, at least everyone in the real estate world <laughs> has seen the headlines of um, what was happening with Zillow. So John, do you want to? Sure. Away? Yeah, I think um, it's ironical that uh, Zillow, that's been the leading um, estimator of values have uh, tripped up uh, when they started buying properties. For the past year, they've been, when you go on to Zillow, they'll, they'll come up and say, do you want a cash offer for your house? And they've started buying homes. They have started, they did. This week, the, the big news has been that they pulled out of that market. They have lost, uh, their estimate of their loss is about 500 million and um, they're laying off 2,000 people. Mm -hmm. They're dumping or selling uh, at a loss for them uh, some $20,000, 20,000 homes. Um, and they are estimating they're going to lose uh, about between 5 and 7% on average per transaction. So quite a big uh, mistake, and it's quite a, given the market quite a big jolt. Mm -hmm. um, so overestimated. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you think they'd be able to get things a bit. You smarter, can't. We but... can't not at least make fun of that part. I know. Right? I know. <laughs> I know. I know. It has to be said. <laughs> so, um, with, with uh, there's a couple of things ha happening right now that people say, well, is there going to be a flood of homes on the market? They're saying, um, well, there's twenty thousand homes at Zillow. There's putting out there plus the moratorium the mortgage moratorium is finishing currently we're seeing a hundred thousand homes um, coming out of uh, the moratorium or forbearance but we need the inventory yeah Just that, uh, i was looking the other day like at, at the peak um we saw the, the actual inventory nationally would be over a million homes. So it was July 2016, we saw a million homes. Now, it, th this week, we saw we've got 400,000. So it's a big difference mm -hmm. between the, the inventory uh, nationally. So, you know, there's, there's room for five, six hundred thousand more homes. So <clears throat> They estimate that only 4% of those homes that are coming out of forbearance will actually sell. And it's oh, a drop yeah. in, yeah, it's a drop in, it may make some change, but it's a drop in the, the bucket to what we need. So. And of course, you know, with like headlines, anything that comes out, there's some kind of fear mong mongering happening, um, you know, like the flooding of the market with all these new inventory. But like, if you see what just happened, what we just talked about with inventory going down again from 1.1 to 0.9 here in Portland, we have a lot of room. Mm -hmm. for a lot of room. 
yeah so if you're thinking that all these are going to flood the market and change a lot the short answer is no because we need it yeah and, and i think uh in the coming weeks or weeks we'll be looking at um predictions for next year we'll be looking closely at uh, what's going to happen with interest rates and inventory mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. price changes mm -hmm. so next i wanted to talk really quick you know like technically what zillow was doing was i buyer and you'll hear that a lot more if you haven't heard if you haven't seen commercials for different companies like you will but um, i buyer basically means instant buyer and that's not really necessarily a new concept in the real estate world because there's often people that maybe would try to get a for sale by owner and go directly to a cash flipper or something like that there's always been like people raising their hand i'll pay cash for your house yeah this is just a system of online this is you know tech companies coming in and being like hey we can create like a, a system to like give you a cash offer for your house now um so so not we know a lot about these right like um we're real 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 estate experts we pay attention so um we know some companies that are not good yeah. <laughs> and then we'll and then there's some that like are are definitely valid things to talk about valid opportunities for sellers we've have uh, you know i've had sellers i've been like hey angela I got this crazy online offer. What do you think about it? And I really appreciate it when a seller comes to me and asks me like what my opinion is. And I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to be honest, right? I'm not going to say, no, I want to sell your house. Don't take that offer. We're going to talk about it. Yeah. Well, I think that's really kind of the point is that you want to have trust in your, in your major sale. And so we want to be that facilitator and advisor. Even if you do have this iBuyer, we can still help facilitate that and be your advisor through the whole process and also just like look at the offer and see what the hidden fees are because a lot of these i buyers are there are some hidden fees and also i think it's important to think about the terms of um like if you sell where are you going to go and so we can help you with the buying side as well so you know i think it's important to you know this is not a non-viable option it's just and it's definitely convenient for sellers however you still need to have a plan and you probably want a real person to do that with and that's who we are we are your trusted advisors and please reach out to us call or text us when you or if you receive some kind of offer like this we can definitely advise you on it and you know we may actually have a buyer too like True. that's the thing like we work with a lot of buyers if you're looking for ease mm -hmm. maybe we have a buyer already you know um it's definitely worth ask talking to us about it um hope that was helpful give you a little snapshot about what i buyers it are and what the headlines around zillow means if you have any questions text message us we're here for you yeah thanks so much thank have you have a good week <laughs>